discuss the fifth pillar of Iman, that is believing in life after death, believing in the year after. First, we'll discuss life after death in Hinduism. The common Hindu, he believes in the cycle of birth, death and rebirth, known as samsara, the theory of reincarnation. And this theory of reincarnation says that Almighty God has created different people in different ways. Some are born rich, some are born poor, some are born healthy, some are born with some congenital defect. So how could God be unjust in making different people born in different ways? So they came out with the theory of samsara, also known as theory of reincarnation or transmigration of soul, based on the verse of Bhagavad Gita, chapter number 4, verse number 22, which says, whenever a person changes his clothes and wears new clothes, it is somewhat similar, like a soul gives away the body and enters new body. It believes in the theory of karma. The actions that you do are the karma. If you do good actions, you'll be rewarded in this world or the year after. If you do bad actions, you'll get a punishment. They also believe in the theory of dharma. Dharma means a person should live life according to the guidance of Almighty God. If you do good dharma, then your karma also will be good. And they believe in moksha. That means free from the cycle of birth, death and rebirth. If you analyze that this concept of transmigration of soul or samsara is no way mentioned in the Vedas. What the Vedas speak is about the punar janam. Punar means next or again. Janam means life. So punar janam means next life or life again. It doesn't mean life, death and life again. It's not cycle of birth, death and rebirth. It's only next life or life again. So the Hindu scholars who believe in the Vedas, they say that the concept of transmigration of soul was never mentioned in the Vedas. It came into existence later on. What is mentioned in the Vedas, if you read Rig Ved, book number 10, hymn number 16, verse number 4 and 5, it speaks about the next life and also says you will go to paradise. But doesn't speak where rivers will flow, there will be rivers flowing of milk, and there will be various fruits. It will be a place which is good. It even talks in several places in the Vedas, in Atharva Ved, in Rig Ved. The Vedas even speak about Narak, that is hell. The description is somewhat like fire. And it says that this fire of hell will be bad. And a person won't be able to bear the pain in hell. So the concept of hell and heaven is there. But the concept of death, birth and death is not there anywhere in the Vedas. Because the human beings, the scholars, they could not know how could some people be born healthy, some people born with congenital defect. So because of this, we find that this concept has come about the birth, death and rebirth. Let's discuss life after death in Islam. And Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 28. Don't you know that you were dead and he gave you life and then caused you to die? resurrected you. Your resurrection, by Allah mentioned in the Quran, is you come in this world only once. And again you're resurrected. And Allah says in the Quran, in chapter 67, verse number 2, that It is Allah who has created death and life to test which of you is good indeed. This life is a test for the hereafter. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 185, Allah says, that kullu nafsin zaikat al Every soul shall have a taste of death. The final recompense is on the day of judgment. And those who save from the hellfire and get guarded in the life, they will achieve the objectives of this world. For this world is nothing but mere amusement and chattels of deception. The description of heaven is given in the Quran. It describes that there are many rivers in the heaven, there are rivers of milk and there will be various fruits. It is a very beautiful place. 
And Quran also describes about the hellfire. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 24, about the description of hell. And if we analyze in the Quran, as compared to Hinduism, doesn't have a philosophy that life, death, and life again. Because some people are born rich, some people are born poor. Think about death, life, and death. Further, if you analyze the Vedas and the other Hindu scriptures, they talk about Swarg, about heaven, and describe heaven that it is a very beautiful place. Some people are born with health, some people with congenital defect. Allah says that this life, different people have different tests. And depending upon different tests, the life will keep on changing. Let's discuss.